Now I create a hair for the front right side and the front left side. So it's time for us to um, translate the hair. So we will translate the right side of the hair first. Stylize and uh, use this translate to to translate our hair. After you change the hair in the front viewport, you can switch to perspective view. And um, so from here, we move some of the hair back. Okay. the this uh, you get roughly the result you want and uh, some of the um, since we chase lay the hair at the tip some of the hair in the it's um, uh, penetrate underneath the scalp so we we use this tool, this puff root tool to uh, puff some of this hair out. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, we finish this part. And uh, next, let's focus on the left side of the hair. Uh, so we turn off the right side of the hair and uh, go back to left side. Turn on. And uh, again, use the translate tool in the front viewport to translate your hair. down the brushes if you like, if you want okay and uh, switch to uh, perspective view and uh, brush hair back and use this puff root tool to um, puff the root of the hair okay so we finish this uh, left side we turn on the right side so we can see those hair at the same time so the final step is to uh, cut those hair that looks 
too long so we switch to front view port style style styling your hair use this hair cut to to cut this those hair was too long okay And uh, now um, for the rear, rear, rear hair, the, the, the hair in the back, um, I also apply a hair and a fur modifier to it and apply the dynamics and um, translate those hair and uh, the difference is I increase the hair count to about 8000 and uh, increase the hair segment about 25. So now we have uh, this um, hair for the rear in the back and uh, hair for the right, hair for the left and uh, we finish this hair model um, hair model and uh, you can you still can um, fix some of this problem after you uh, finish all this so you might find uh, those ha this hair penetrate the eyes. You can cut it off. Okay. So we na um, we finish this, and uh, let's continue to uh, final hairstyle. This is the uh, final hairstyle we are going to create. Um, the procedure is almost the same, so I'm not going to repeat the same step. Uh, I only explain the difference. So, uh, uh, as you can see, um, I create a two scalp one is for the uh, front part of the hair and uh, another is for the rear part of the hair okay so we have a uh, two hair so let me turn off the rear part of the hair and uh, the only difference um, compared with the previous two hairstyle is we uh, not only uh, for this hair we decrease the hair count to about 800 and but uh, increase the multi strain parameter to about 10 and uh, Play around with the root splay and the tip splay, and uh, to make our hair looks curly, and we increase the frizzle. Uh, no, sorry, increase the kink. We increase the kink tips to about ten, kink X frequency to about eight. So. As you can see, I increase. I uh, I play around with with this, this kink X frequency. The hair will the hair will um, first have a uh, looks very straight. If you increase the uh, King tip number the hair will start to to bend so you you will have a curve looking Cur curvy looking okay So that's how we make this 
curl style hair. So this concludes our um, this three hairstyle tutorial and thank you for watching this video tutorial and bye bye.